Welcome to Brass, Steel and Fire. This is the latest exhibition from the National Railway Museum. Uh, I'm Charlotte Kingston. I'm the Head of Interpretation and Design here. So my team have developed and delivered this exhibition along with our curator, Anthony Cools, uh, and a number of other team across the different departments in the museum to kind of bring about this spectacular celebration of models, model making, and uh, really the, the, the creation of small miniature locomotives and why different people chose to make them. Obviously the star of the exhibition really is uh, Stevenson's rocket which sits behind me right now. Um, we've uh, expanded into a back of house space uh, to create this kind of almost workshop feel and we've put rockets sort of sent pride of place really. Rocket's really exciting for the exhibition because it's the it's really a first it's a one-to-one -one model locomotive. It doesn't look like a model locomotive because it's not small but they didn't have time to make a model. They didn't have time to test anything out. They just went straight ahead, built the full-size thing and then it was really successful and set the DNA for every steam locomotive ever since. This one I really want to highlight because it's a really special model. Um, it's called Invicta and it was made at the same time as the full-size Invicta uh, in, the, in, in, in the early part of the 19th century. It was made in the Stevenson works by an apprentice who was apprenticed to Robert Stevenson. So it's a really extraordinary locomotive and we've been really, really lucky to borrow this. We've also got these amazing photographs behind us which are of the, uh, which are from our collection and they're of really big workshops where um, locomotives are put together. Uh, my favourite one, if you just come over here, has a really lovely little detail. You think this is just a whole load of men at work but if you just check it, check out here, We've got a little guy sitting in one of the old boilers just poking his head out, which is rather lovely, and his feet down below with his toes turned in. 